Some of the biggest stars on TikTok have made a TV show called Attaway General. And when I heard about this, I knew I had to check this out immediately. I don't know why producers and managers always take people who are famous for one thing and then just throw them into a completely different career. I think the entertainment industry is the only place you'll ever see that happen. I'm never going to walk into a restaurant and see the chef and think, that guy makes incredible burgers. I'm going to trust him with open heart surgery on me next week. I bet you he'd make a pretty good surgeon. Like they got famous for making these dance videos, so they must know how to act in a medical drama. But they got my curiosity, so let's dive into Attaway General. Today's premiere of Attaway General is brought to you by Just Dance 2020. We're just starting right off with the product placement. <laughs> They're not trying to hide it at all. They're like, forget the storyline. This is the real reason we made the show. This game is honestly so much fun and I can't wait to play with my entire family. This is any indication of what the acting is gonna be like in the show. Also, Just Dance 2020, and you're playing a song from 1997. The teen volunteer, or TV program, is what you make of it. The more you prove yourself, the more rewarding your time will be. When will we get to observe in the ER? The ER is usually reserved for third year TVs. As first year TVs, you guys will be on pediatrics. You'll help with clerical work, transpo, keeping patients company. Yes, babysitting, great. That's right, Georgia. Make them feel seen, heard, comforted, whatever they need. Got a problem with that? Get an MD. Any questions? Yeah, my question is what even just happened in this scene? It's their first day on the job and she just sped through that whole introduction. It's like, my question is everything that you just said, can you repeat everything? I've never seen somebody so unenthused on their very first day on the job. This is the look somebody gives after they've been there for a year and they're still a volunteer and they've never climbed their way up. I don't think it's possible to roll an eye any further back than that without it actually detaching. That is a possessed person eye roll. <laughs> At away you are. Okay, how far out? Trauma team on standby. This is Nurse Sandy. She's the heart of the ER. Make her laugh and bring her chocolates and you're golden. But if you make her mad, you're gonna have a really rough road at this hospital. So does everybody who works at the hospital have to gather around her desk and tell her jokes and bring her trays of chocolate just to be on her good side? She just folds her arms in the morning and judges everyone based on what kind of chocolates they give her? I told you I wanted a cherry cluster, not milk chocolate. Ambulance Bay needs hands. Patient Dr. Henry and everyone on call. Metro bus crash downtown. We're about to be at capacity. What can we do? Nothing. Maeve. This is Maeve. Okay, here we She's go. Here here. comes the action. Things are picking oh, up. Know. I'll be back when I can. Follow me. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna be amazing. Wait, we don't get to see the action? We're, we're going off in the other direction? They should have all the stars just TikTok dancing through this opening. Attaway General. So usually the intro is the least interesting part of any TV show or movie. Netflix even lets you skip the intros. But after that opening scene, why do I get the feeling that the intro is gonna be the best part of this show? Help us all, we're going in. As first years, you're responsible for Franklin. Um, who's Franklin? This is Franklin. He's a little temperamental, so gotta make sure you clean him out nightly. Shouldn't we be doing more than learning how to make coffee? There's an emergency out there. I was getting to that. Whoa, <laughs> why is everybody so mean to the interns? It's like their boss called a meeting and was like, I want you to make these interns have the worst day of their lives. Make them wish that they never worked in a hospital ever again. Did she start this? Was it because she didn't get her chocolates? So why did you volunteer to work at a hospital? I got arrested, beats juvie. So he's supposed to be the bad boy of the show, but he's the most timid out of everybody in the cast. I would buy that she was the one who was supposed to go to prison before he was. He's like the only one following the rules. <laughs> if you just pause at any random moment in the show, he has the most chilled look out of everybody's faces. Excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, hello? Hey, do you work here? Sure do. What do you need? Uh, my doctor, she took me back here forever ago and she hasn't come back yet. Sorry, but it's really busy right now. There's been a huge accident. I know. I was in it. Oh, that must have been... Yeah, I got pretty lucky. I'm just uh, I'm a little worried right now because I'm losing a lot of blood. And my favorite sweatshirt. You should be fine to wait a little. 
His whole arm is like completely mangled. And she's like, you're fine. <laughs> Just take a number right over here and we'll be with you in about two days. Can you wait two days? You can? Good. You should be fine to wait a little. Your arm's gushing blood, but you're good for at least three hours. Trust me, it's my first day on the job. But for right now, the rest of our staff is very busy sleeping in closets and reading magazines. Where's all the doctors at? <laughs> it's like her first day on the job and they're just letting her do this by herself. If you hit an artery, you would have passed out by now. That's comforting. Use this instead. Lots of pressure. And soak it in cold water. The sweatshirt. Oh, thanks. That is the calmest I've seen anybody with an arm like that. He's just been in a bus crash. His arm is covered in blood and it looks like he's just at the doctor's office to get a physical. He's like, keep it together, keep it together. We gotta flirt, we gotta flirt our way through this. As soon as she leaves, that's when we can scream. So if you don't mind me asking, what did you do to get arrested? In prison, you're never supposed to ask about the crime. We're not in a prison, we're in a hospital. <laughs> Tell me what you did, I wanna know what you did. He's like the most chilled one out of all of them. <laughs> what could he have possibly have done? Stevie, sweetie, you need to eat to get big and strong and feel better. No! It's actually really good. Let me show you. Mm. So what's the point of the hairnet if the hair is not inside of the net? That's the only thing that you need to do, is make sure the hair goes inside of the net. Jack, maybe try a gentler approach. Hey! That's mine! Eat your food. What are you doing? You can't just force him. Here, let me try. Stevie, sweetie, you need to eat to get big and strong and feel better. No! It's actually really good. Let me show you. Mmm! Delicious! <laughs> Why is this little kid the best actor out of everyone there? <laughs> Usually kids are like the worst actors in these shows and he's like an Oscar winner compared to everybody else. He's outperforming people that are three times his age. I didn't expect the acting to be that good because you don't watch this video and then think, wow, that person probably knows how to act in a medical drama. And I can't even blame them for being in the show because if somebody comes up to you and says, do you want to be in a movie? You say yes. I don't care if you've never acted in your life. You say yes. What are you doing? Oh. Don't come any closer. I don't think that's gonna hurt anyone. Depends where I put it. What? The writing in this show. Also, why does the music never match the scenes in this show? <laughs> It's the same exact music they used in the last scene. So the music that you use for a food fight with a little kid is the same exact music that you use for this closet flirting scene. And it always sounds like TikTok music too. It sounds like Charlie D'Amelio is trying to do a TikTok dance just off screen. Good job. Kit. Kit, I'm Dr. Henry. I know, you're amazing. I read your book, it was amazing, and that, that was... Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Did I just say amazing twice? Three times. I guess love and laughter is the best medicine because he doesn't seem to notice that his arm is still gushing blood. Just a little bit unsanitary. And she doesn't see this either. She's like sitting right in front of him. Just look down. His arm is streaming blood right now. You're gonna need like five times more gauze than that. His arm should look like a mummy. How did she go from having to take care of the coffee pot with the googly eyes to taking care of this person who's probably about to lose their arm? The adrenaline was amazing. So first I stuck into the ER and there was this boy, he was bleeding everywhere. So I saved his life. So now you admit that he was bleeding everywhere. Earlier you were like, You should be fine to wait a little. If you hit an artery, you would have passed out by now. And then Dr. Henry called me over out of all the nurses in the ER to help save this girl with third degree burns. It was crazy. <sighs> While you guys are patting yourselves on the back, your patients are still in critical condition. Don't ever forget why you're here. But. Despite a few hiccups, you guys survived. Next week, try to be a little more professional. These will help. Hold up, where did her jacket come from? She didn't have it in the beginning and she didn't have it in the middle. Definitely didn't have it in the last scene. They definitely filmed this final scene right after they shot the opening scene because his hair is exactly the same in both of these shots, even after this food fight happened. But I think they wanted it to look more like time passed, so they gave her a jacket that she never had to begin with. I'm gonna guess that they only had one day to film this entire show, and that's why the whole thing looks so rushed and has such a small budget. Even though Brat TV is pretty big, they have over 4 million subscribers, their videos get millions 
of views. They had this promotional at the beginning for Just Dance 2020, but I don't know where any of that money is going. It's definitely not into the production. Even the poster looks like somebody only spent like five minutes on it. It's literally, it's a picture and then just basic font titles, which just shows how rushed it is because you could make a better poster than that for free if you just put a little bit more time into it. So you can tell that they're just trying to make the quickest videos they can. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome and I hope you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Damn.